All right. So today we are giving you our best tech hacks for achieving your goals. And we have actually a lot. So I think we're just going to jump right to it. Let's do it. All right. Let's go. Welcome to another episode of Focus on This, the most productive podcast on the internet so you can banish distractions, get the right stuff done, and finally start loving Mondays. I'm Ken Freire here with Marissa Hyatt. That's me. Happy, Happy Monday. Monday. Hey, hey. It is here. It is here. It's a new month already. I mean, we're two, well, we're in the second month of 2024, which is crazy. I can't believe it. That we're already here and we have some really good stuff today. Like we, I feel like we have kind of a jam packed episode. Yeah. At first we were like, well, what are we going to talk about? And now we're like, oh, that's a lot of stuff. So we're going to just jump right into it. This is like a hot topic. Too, it's a I hot think. topic. Yeah. Yep. So what we're talking about is tech hacks to achieve your goals. Yes. That's what we're going to drive to. All right. So Marissa, what is the first tech hack? Well, the first hack is to track your habit goals using your phone. And in this case... We are iPhone users, so yes. I don't want to alienate our Android. No, totally <laughs> alienate them. That's uh, an Android is kind of like having a Stanley Cup. I think uh, <laughs> wow. the Android, I'm pretty sure actually in our wow. leadership text thread, my mm. dad was the one who said that uh. the Yeti is the Android of cups. <laughs> you know what? And I would, go, I would go so far as to say it's like the Yeti is the Walmart to Target. Wow. Okay. Who's got more revenue though? That's all I'm saying. Okay. (laughs) Okay. We're back to habit goals. We're talking about phones, but we're iPhone users. So I think it's important to just say that on the the get go. So you guys know, I talked about in a previous episode, one of my goals this quarter is completing what I'm calling hot girl winter. Trying to remember what episode that was that we talked about it. If you want to go listen. January 8th, I think. One of the January ones, but I'm actually tracking these daily habits that I'm doing through my reminders app, just the native app on my phone. And I have a list in there, a specific list that I've created that is all of my various tasks that I do. And I have different times of days that I've set up those reminders because there's certain things I do in the morning, some things I do, you know, later in the day. And then obviously there's things I'm doing throughout the day that I wouldn't be able to check off until the evening. So that's how I'm doing it. It's kind of basic, yeah, but it's great. it's great. I have little emojis for each one. So every time it pops up, it, you know, visually just reminds me immediately and kind of makes me happy. I so. love it. I mean, other people use a streak tracker app. Yes. Right. Uh, Nick, I believe you use one, correct? Yeah. What are you? I do. Sorry. I was looking at reminders. I was like, how is she setting timers on remind? Like, I. Is, yeah. how does that work? So it's basically a notification. So you can go into your... Reminders app. Let me just try to pull. I never actually open the reminders app. I just use Siri and I say, hey, Siri, can you remind me to do this every day at 2 p.m.? Well, I was going to say you have what are called lists in here and I have like a hot girl winter one and I just added my specific things. I haven't checked any off today, which is why they're all red, but I have done. You didn't walk in the rain? Hmm. (laughs) No, I haven't walked actually today. But um, and then I have on here don't know if you can zoom in on this point to the other camera your camera yeah there okay you if you can zoom in you can see what this looks like but basically i have each of my tasks i can throw up a screenshot in the full focus planner community too yeah. if people want to see it but she also says like what time like so for 30 minute walk today at 4 45 p.m yeah and it reminds Daily. me every single day and mm-hmm. so i check it off and obviously mine look red because well, they are red, but I, I haven't checked them off today. Um, and then I have details in there too. So like what supplements I'm taking or uh, what meditation app I'm using. Can you, things. can you share reminders, like reminder lists? You can. <sighs> That's cool. And if you share it, would both people get it? Like get yes, the reminder? Yes, but I think if one person checks it off. Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. We should test it out. Ooh, I know. I just thought about that's some good ideas. Idea. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, but it's a it's like a basic thing. But I'm curious, Nick, what app you're using to track your habits and your streaks? Because for me, that's the one negative of this is that I can't actually like have that sense of um, like that hit of dopamine when I look and it's like, oh, you've completed 15 Seven days of yeah. this or whatever, you know. Yeah, I'm I'm using a, an app called Habit Kit, and oh. uh, there's K-I-T. a fun widget for it, which will 
get to in a little bit, but okay. you know, it's pretty simple. It, you know, you can set different things. I only have one right now, which is a daily movement goal, but you know, it looks like that. Uh, I have passed my movement goal today. So I, and I did it, whatever I did it yesterday too, but I didn't check it. So huh, click check. Like it. There it is. And at the end of the year, that's for, I believe 365 boxes. So it will, as you do more, you it'll fill up. That's cool. Over, over the course. And so you get that like visual hit. It's great. Okay. I've also used habit tracker, yep. which is a really good one, um, which I'm now like, why haven't, why am I not using that right now? So I think I'm going to download that and, and try it again. Oh, so you're not even going to use the one that Nick recommended. You're like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to go to well, hey, I, I'm gonna ignore, whatever works for you. I kind of want right? to try different things, too. I think it's helpful. There's also one that I've used before called Productive. Um, I didn't like that one. If I remember, this was probably two years ago that I used it. I didn't like that one quite as much. I don't remember why. I would be curious from our listeners which apps you're using to track your habits and uh share it with us in the community, in yeah. the Full Focus Planner community. I'd love to know, just yeah. for my own selfish reasons. I mean, the real OGs are going to be like, we don't, we use the planner. Yeah, we do have a street tracker in your planner, <laughs> but we're specifically talking about technology. That's true, today. that's true. All right. Okay. okay, so the first thing is track your habit goals, right? Yes. The second thing is uh, limit distractions. Right? Yeah. If you want to achieve your goals, uh, you can use tech to limit those distractions. Yeah. So uh, one of our colleagues here at Full Focus told us about an app called One Sec. yes. Jim Kelly, thank you for this. Jim is, in case you ever wonder, uh, is my dad's um, executive assistant. And I think maybe the best implementer of our systems in our company. Like, I don't know anybody else who is more um, self-motivated. He's an Enneagram one. So are you. But I mean, he is... I love Jim. He is fantastic. I always learn stuff And huge into personal development. He's huge. always looking yes. for the new hack. He's always looking for something. So he showed it to us the other day. Yeah. Uh, actually during your best year ever. And uh, he was like, look at this app and what it does. And it basically just pauses your phone long enough for you to be like, do you really want to get on this app or not? Yeah. And you could delay it and stuff like that. It was fantastic. So he showed us the example of Instagram. So if you have this app downloaded and you go to try to uh, log into Instagram it'll ask, it'll pop up and say something to the effect of like, do you actually want to do this? Want to do this? And if you say yes, then it makes you pause and like do a couple breaths or something like that. And if you say no, then it tells you like, gives you some kind of congratulatory message, but it also will show you how many times you've tried to open that app that day. Yeah. Which is like kind of, I mean, I am scared. I mean, <laughs> I'm scared to I know. use I was it. Like, ah. and the other fun <laughs> part about it was that you could um, put, if I remember correctly, the time limit on how long you want to be able to access it. Yes. And if you still pass the limit, it actually gives you a survey to say, like, why do you want to do this? Oh, like, right. It right? makes you set your intention your for intention. why you want to use that app. Are you? And so it was like, are, is it because you're wanting to waste time or is it just because you want to escape? Like it kind of went deep real fast. I was like, oh, yeah. I don't know if it's, I want to share my heart to this. App, it's but it a great. pretty yeah it's a good check though if you, especially if you're struggling with specific apps on your phone uh you know can, like almost habitually opening them yeah. i think this could be a really good tool to help you just pause and take one sec yeah so and a lot of people will use it for social media like i know i, I would use it for social media yeah. which leads me to the next hack on this is if you don't want to do one sec the best thing to do is just delete your social media apps yeah. so uh if some of you have been listening to Uh, focus on this for a while last quarter i deleted all my social media apps for quarter four so and obviously i'm still engaged and stuff like that but i had to do it during my work hours and on my computer or something like that places where i'm not just habitually that's what you've been doing during the work day (laughs) exactly just social media like (laughs) Uh, i don't answer any of marissa's slack messages explains a lot (laughs) (laughs) Uh, so but that'd be a great way is just get rid of it or get rid of whatever the app is because what you're trying to avoid is picking up your phone needlessly every single yeah. time i so about a month ago i put on um the I'm trying to remember what it's called where you essentially like limit the time that you're able to use the apps yeah, yeah. and uh whatever it's under screen your time. Fo- screen time thank you yeah. um and i added that in and because i realized i was kind of becoming a little too addicted to some of these specifically social media apps and i'll just tell you it didn't work 
<laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I bypass that thing every single time. It's like, you've met your limit today. Do you want to like Continue. log in for one minute for 15 minutes or for like, forget it for the rest of the day. And I'm like, forget it for the rest of the day. Like, I don't need you to tell me anything, you know, <laughs> like I got stuff to do or I need to look at something. And like, I'm my own person. I really think like, I mean, it's a great intention and maybe if you have more self-discipline than I do, like you'll be more successful. But for me, it did not work and I still have it on there and I still every single day tell it to, That's you hilarious. Know, Goodbye. Yeah. yeah, that's why I just delete them for a while and then I just put them back on for, uh, you know, quarter one, yeah. see if I can limit myself. I'm like, oh, well, I might luck. need to delete it, delete it again. So. But the deleting, I think, yeah. 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 Uh, the other thing too is that, you know, sometimes I, I'm trying to remember the exact statistic, but it's like every seven seconds people pick up their mm-hmm. phone. I don't remember exactly how, how it's like a compulsive thing at this point. I have found that sometimes when I'm at the dinner table, I'm just like, my kids are talking. I'm like, Oh, I'm like, so now we're trying to put it away. Yeah. But one thing that has actually helped a lot is if you grayscale your phone. Yes. I love this hack. I think that this is brilliant because it basically takes the, um, hit of dopamine that happens when you see that red notification on your text or on your Instagram app or whatever. And that is another hack is to also take off those notifications so that you're less likely to feel like you need to click into those apps. Uh, But when you grayscale, it takes all of that away where your brain goes, oh, I need like this is red. I got to look at it. Yeah. And it's also like just for some apps like social media apps specifically, it's really unpleasant to look at. Like I remember trying to go on Instagram and I'm like, this is boring. This is boring. I don't even want to do it, right? So yeah. I just got off of it. Yeah. So that's another hack. And you can, um, I don't know if you have to set this up, but if you click your, like the, I don't know what these buttons are called, the right button on your phone. <laughs> if you yeah, click it three unlock times, or whatever, yeah, yeah. yeah, then it will, if you click it three times, it'll grayscale. Yeah. So. I think you actually have to go to the settings mode first. It's under accessibility. Accessibility yeah. and change it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's well, a great one. It, so, Marissa, to your point about notifications, there's a couple of things. I don't have this, but I've heard about it, and I went, is this something? It's something called the Unplug Tag. It is something, it's like $50 or whatever, or there's like a subscription, whatever. But in order to unlock certain things on your phone, you actually have to tap your phone with this tag, which means that you could put the tag across the house or give it to your neighbor <laughs> or leave it at, if you're at the office, you, you leave it at home. you get the $50 back at the end of the month when you don't <laughs> do it? That would be great. That would be interesting. So anyway, that's, just something, that's something I was like, that feels like something. It's yeah. For somebody that's, it, that's that'd good. That'd be really interesting, especially because like if you're on social media at night and you're laying in bed, you know, to get out of bed to find the tag to like unlock yeah. it. I'd be so mad all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I have, uh, you know, I sent this message to, Ken, I've been showing off my phone to everybody recently. So, uh, first of all, I don't have any, um, I got nothing on my lock screen right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a black image, nothing to see and, and ogle at. But here is my current, this is my minimal notification situation. For anyone who's not uh, like watching, I have downloaded an app called Blank Spaces, which turns all, of, you can just write a list of the apps that you need to see. Um, so for example, I've got like messages and podcasts and maps and calendar. We have a baby app where we track like sleep and whatever. Um, and so it doesn't show any notifications and it really just makes it feel more functional. And And it's like in a list view. Yeah. Yeah. It really. And so it's, I'm like so thrilled with this. Boring in the best way. Right. And it feels weird to spend so much money on a phone and then go, can I make this look like it's from the 1980s <laughs> yeah. as much as possible. But that's been like a huge game changer because whenever I open, you know, you just like open your phone and I go, I don't, I just, I don't see anything. I don't see any notifications. Right. I don't see whatever. Now, have you guys ever played with digest notifications? No, no but this sounds like it's about to be my favorite thing. Yeah, it sounds so amazing. What I've done and I, uh, I have to be honest, I'm still working on the specifics of it because for example, uh, I need my wife to be able to text me. I need clients to be able to text me. But uh, digest means it's like you can say I want no I want no notifications from these apps until X time. So what Ooh. so what I've done is is actually and this is probably too much, but I'm like every hour, ten minutes to the hour, right? I'm gonna get 
a digest of everything that I missed. And so I can look through it and make sure I didn't miss anything important and then get rid of it. Wow. So I'm not that, getting texts. Is that the app called? Digest no, it's it's built into your notifications on your iPhone. What? Yes. Okay, so this isn't even an, anything extra. You have to you just have to go into your settings. You go into settings, you go to notifications and where where are you? Yeah, look, here's my here's my my schedule summary. Okay, so if you go into iPhone settings, notifications, scheduled, scheduled summary. summary and you can turn it on and then Okay. Then you can is... set whenever time. And then I have a length. I have like every hour throughout the workday, 10 till. And then in the evening, I have it like four hours. I like have this block where I'm like, I'm trying to be present with my life. And so. I you know. love this hack. This is amazing. Okay. So. Phenomenal. Okay. So, and I, here's the thing I'm that's crazy that is that apps, you get so many notifications. Oh yeah. I started doing this before new year's i was like okay i'm gonna get started on this and i'm still going like where did this notification come from yeah, like, why, why is yeah why is the pet food machine getting through yeah. <laughs> why, why do you even have that app on your phone <laughs> like it's just we like... have a we have an orange cat who will not leave us alone Garfield? And i had to buy an auto feeder <laughs> oh my gosh this cat is that, extra because we would be like feeding the baby and he knows that that's so important to us. So he would come into the room or stand at the door and just like scream at us because he's oh like, gosh. I'm going to get some of that. So we had to buy a feeder. Oh, uh, I love it. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's move forward. Another one for uh, distractions. So, so far we talked about the one second app, uh, the digital notifications or show notifications that we just talked, summary notifications. There we go. Uh, delete social media apps, grayscale. The last one is focus mode. So- this, this is, is one of my favorite hacks. Yes. You love it. You talk well, about it all you the guys time. know I have a big family and we have a lot of group text. You do. Like it's. It's kind of ridiculous. There's not. You would think, oh, they have a family. They have a group family text. No, we have several threads because there's conversations that we only want to have as sisters that some we want to have with our mom included. Some we want with our dad included. Some we want with the brother-in-laws included. I mean, it's just like out of hand. And honestly, that is what goes off most days constantly. And so when I'm working, I mean, it would be going all the time if I didn't use focus mode. So I use the work mode. I have my entire team. I have you. I oh, have yes. Megan. I actually have you, Nick, too, as well. Uh, basically, anybody that I'm working with can get through during my work hours. And everyone else doesn't get through. And so I don't see any notifications from them. And similarly to the um, hack you were just talking about, Nick, for this, I... Um, I have it to where I don't get any app notifications except for my calendar. So I don't see any notifications during the workday, which is phenomenal because I'm not getting, you know, Postmates trying yeah. to get me to order lunch and I don't need that. You know what I mean? So. Right, maybe you should get Postmates too tough to remind you no, to do I'm lunch. On, we're, on a budget. we're on a budget right now. We do not need Postmates. Okay. That is like in my no-go zone. But focus mode is amazing. I obviously, you know, I use this for sleep as well and I have it set up for sleep. I use it um, for work primarily. Uh, but it's also great if you want to just turn your phone on do not disturb and you can set specific people that you want to be able to get through if you want um, or apps if you need specific apps to show up. So. Love it. Love it. Okay. Next thing then. So talk, we talked about tracking habit goals, limit distractions. Another one to tech hack or a tech hack to achieve your goals is put everything on your calendar, like yeah. master your calendar, whatever yes. Google, cal Google calendar, outlook calendar, they all have special features. Uh, specifically for me, I just try to put everything on it. Yep. So if it's not on it, I'm not scheduling it. And yep. we're going to have a whole episode on calendar hacks, but just yeah, we have some preview. really good calendar hacks specifically. Um, Too much for this episode. Yeah, but the big one that I just want to share with everybody is making sure you just put it there. So yeah. like sometimes if you think about your task list, you're like, oh, I have this task list over here. I have my planner here. It's like, did you put it in your calendar at what time you're exactly going to do it? Yeah. If, you're not, if you didn't, it's not going to happen. And we, Yeah, we talked about this uh, in a recent episode where I talked about having your ideal week. And the point is, is that you want to actually make your ideal week real and specifically your goals. So if you aren't scheduling time for your goals, you're missing out. Yeah. For real. I love it. I love it. Okay. So after uh, putting it on your calendar, you want to have a master task list. Okay. So this is like, we're going to disagree on this and I'm excited about it. Because <laughs> um, we never disagree on anything. Never. never. Not one time. <laughs> okay. So 
you shared this one with me before the episode as we were in our prep. And you said everyone needs a master task list in an online system. Yeah. Like Asana or yeah. what are some other examples? Uh, there's uh Todoist, right, is another yeah, one. one. Some people use their just notes page on their yeah. phone. Uh, something I would say digital, right, so that everything is integrated. Like, so for me, I have like work, personal, my like my family life. Just everything is just somewhere that I can always look at and it. And you use Asana. I use Asana. Okay. So we use Asana as a company for our project management system so that our teams can, you know, be able to create all the things that we create. And so I don't like having anything personal in there because the second I open it, I am immediately like, oh, I got to go in work mode, you know, yeah. and I'll start working. And um, so I don't do that. If anything, I would maybe have a notes like list on my phone that has some things that I can't do that I know I need to do in the future. Often I'll just set a reminder. Like I did this the other day where um, I was changing air filters in my house. This is so exciting, <laughs> you guys. But I was changing air filters and I was like, oh, I need to set a reminder for myself in three months to change them again, you yeah. know? And I'm not going to put that in like a, I don't know, task management system. I'm just going to put that in my reminders. List. Reminders. Yeah. Uh, for me though, I don't have a master list. That is so weird. Because to me, I just do it or I set a reminder. Like I don't, to me, it's like, what do I have that is so, I don't know, like what, I don't, what kind of stuff are you even putting on there? I just can't even fathom having an entire list of things to do that I can't go do. I mean, there's just like fun projects that I start to think about or hobbies or like home improvement projects or like, these are all the things that I'm currently So it's on more like list. an idea list. Well, it's idea and task. Like I do, I put I try to keep everything in one place so that I'm not looking at it. And the reason why I would actually put in Asana. So if you go to my Asana, I have like a personal Ken's list. Okay. Right? Um, so you have like all my work stuff, but yeah. there's a personal list there and it's private. Uh, if I ever got laid off, it get weird. I'm like, hey, can I have my list back? Because yeah. <laughs> I need that one thing. <laughs> uh, but that whole list there is there just so that when I could see everything, especially when I'm doing my ideal or my, my weekly preview, I could see the stuff that I need to do in my personal life. Yeah. Or there might be items, you know, while I'm working on something, there's an email or an appointment that I just forgot about that it's just there. Like I can I can see the task or I need to do it right yeah. away. Uh, a great example that happens is like you need to set a doctor's appointment. And I'm like, what time am I gonna do I what time am I gonna set this? Oh, it's at nine o'clock. And it sounds like you're okay. gonna use it as so a I reminder. I use my reminders. You're using your reminders. Yeah. I'm putting it in a sign. I'm just yeah. putting it somewhere. Okay. Uh, so that I can have it there. Okay. So I, I basically do this. I just do it in a different yeah. format. Yeah. Okay, cool. But. Well, you could use your planner. You could use the back of your planner you to could. create a, you know, master task list if that is helpful for you. Um, you could use a task management system or your reminders like I do. <laughs> Next thing <laughs> is to keep your goals visible. And you can use your phone specifically, I think, for in, in a lot of ways to actually do this. So a couple of the ways that you can do this are either by taking your goals and literally creating a voice recording of them. You can do a voice memo with your recording or with your goals that you can listen to each day. So that's a fantastic way to yeah. utilize that. I do a version of this. Mine's a little bit different and a little more in depth, uh, but you can easily do that free of charge. You could also create a screensaver with that's your goals. One. I love this. And especially you could do this, um, I'm like, maybe the marketing team, maybe we need to create these that people could edit. This would be kind of interesting. Maybe like a well, camera we template. A, yeah, we have a screen. We have one for a screensaver one, don't we? Yeah, but it doesn't, not for your goals. Mm. Thinking, I'm thinking. But that would be amazing to keep your like quarterly goals front and center. Yeah. So every time you pick your phone up, we were just talking, what is it? Every seven sec seconds, uh, so, boom, yeah. there's your goals. Yeah. That would be pretty awesome. Right now I'm seeing my, my family, but then I could see my goals. Yeah. Or I could change it. Yeah. Or you could do like the rotating thing. Ooh. So it like. I have never used that before, but I may use it for this if I could see my, my quarterly okay. goals. Okay, well, this is, this, there's something here. <laughs> I feel like this could be really cool for us to do. Just text Julie after the conversation when we go. I feel like it's, I should say that uh, apparently the average American will check their phone once every 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, well, okay. we overshot that by a landslide, but. About 700 seconds. Well, the 66% of Americans actually check their phones 160 times every day. So, you know. So it's still a lot. That's a lot of times. We are compulsive about it is the point yeah. that we're trying to make. 
Yeah, I was well, exaggerating. You can it might have been it, seven minutes but, in my head. But the point is, is that you can use that to your advantage yep. and actually keep your goals extremely visible and top of mind if you set it as a screensaver. Yeah, that'd be a great one. All right, the last thing is use app specific for your goals. Yes. So for example, uh, if you're tracking financial goals, you could use an app called YNAB. Yes. So you need a budget. We love YNAB. Yeah, I used to use Mint and then Mint decided that they don't want to be cool anymore. Yeah. And they're like, we're going to get rid of it. I'm like, you guys could have probably just charged all of us. Wasn't it Google or I can't remember. Somebody bought them or I can't remember. I, I don't know. I don't know what the idea was. They said that know. they were losing money. And I'm like, I bet if you just charged all of us 50 Honestly, bucks a year. Honestly, it or- sounds suspect if you're a financial app and you're losing money. Okay. <laughs> Go with YNAB. YNAB stands for you need, you need a, budget. a budget. And it has a whole system attached. Very similar kind of to the full focus system. And I would say it's kind of like our... If we were to create a financial app, it's probably the closest thing to it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, that's not an official that's, full focus statement. That's a Marissa statement, but <laughs> just saying it. <laughs> uh, we started using it once Mint closed down, so we're getting there. We like yeah. it. Uh, another one is like for health is uh, the big famous one, My Fitness Pal. Yes. Right? I've been using that to track macros because I'm trying to hit my protein goals. And it's awesome because you can scan your barcodes on stuff, which is phenomenal. So you're not having to sit there and type in every single ingredient. You can just scan it, which is awesome. Um, I love that one. For me, the other thing, the, another app that I'm using to accomplish my goals is um, a meditation app called Insight Timer. They have a free version that is really amazing and they have tons. It's almost like, think of it like the YouTube of meditation, like tons of people can just upload their own meditations. And so it's just like, massive amount of they also have breath work um I can't remember there's maybe maybe they have like visualization or other things but it is so good I love Sarah Blondin is my favorite meditation uh, guide on there she is incredible but that's one of my favorite apps I love it okay and then health this is actually one that I'm I want to do so I'm not doing it but I've seen so many people do it and it's exciting your your father does it Mm -hmm. right uh Michael Hyatt uh he has a glucose monitor Yes. And it has an app attached to it. So it could track your sugar like continuous spike, continuous 24 seven, like sugar. He Just as a fun side note, I had dinner with my parents about a week ago. And before we sat down, he was like, okay, I'm going to see, I'm going to eat my protein first and see what it does. Cause he ate his, I don't know, carbs, I guess, first in his yeah. lunch. And he was like, I'm going to try my protein first and see what it does to my blood sugar. And so he's kind of like playing with it to test it, to see how does this affect it? So it's kind of cool. Yeah. So if you guys know of any good glucose monitor apps out there that are an affordable place, let me know so I can go get one. Uh, You can also do similar kind of stuff, not for your blood sugar, um, with, you know, your Fitbit, your Apple watch or a ring. Uh, there's so many metrics for your health that you can track with these. Now I use a Fitbit personally. I love it because it integrates with my fitness pal and other apps that I use. And so I'm able to kind of see like a holistic picture of my health and it is amazing. Sweet. I feel like I'm like on track with my health goals this year because of that, because of my Fitbit. Okay. And if you, the, if you haven't looked at what your Apple watch or whatever has been tracking, like if you have an Apple watch and an iPhone and haven't poked through the health app, it's a little crazy. It is like, crazy. The, it's not just like, Oh, they count my steps. It's like your blood oxygen levels yes. and your resting heart rate. Like your temperature, we went, I had yeah. COVID in the fall went back and saw that my heart, my resting heart rate had spiked before I realized that I was sick and you're like able to like track this over. It's just, it, it's crazy. I love it. It really is fascinating. The amount of insight we now have into our health that even just like a couple of years ago, we didn't have, it's pretty incredible. Any other apps that you guys are using to track your... Yeah, Nick, what do you got? Goals. So I, I want to go back to the screen time focus mode, which I need to spend more time with. But I've been using an app yeah. called Opal. Looks like It looks like this. And basically, it does a similar thing where it like locks down your apps. You have different filters that you can yeah. use. And what I like about it is that it actually allows you to set various kinds of screen time. So it like is the... Combination focus mode and screen time. So for example, right now, my phone just goes, you've been on your phone 
this long, whatever. But let's say I was uh, on Slack doing work, right? And that's productive. So I'm on my phone. The iPhone will say that's bad. Opal lets you like set neutral to good screen time. Oh, interesting. As well. So I feel like it's a better reflection of my wasted time on there. So if it's like if I'm, you know, just scrolling Facebook or or whatever, that's hurting me. Right. <laughs> but if I'm looking at a habit tracker or I'm doing whatever, that's that's good. So I've really like like that. It makes me feel less like surveilled right. <laughs> for some reason. Yeah. And you can share it with your friends and you can all track each other's screen time for anybody who's ready for So if you need for community shame, <laughs> then get <laughs> Opal. I like that. Uh, Ooh, I would not not want to do that. I mean, I just send those same people the reels that I'm watching. Like, hey, watch this with me. <laughs> Bring them down with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I like it. Uh, okay. The, the last one, uh, the last uh, tech hack is uh, right now we get the privilege of beta testing and using the digital planner. Yeah. So that this is awesome. It's been fun. I've been using it for probably, I know for sure, last quarter. I'm yeah. trying to remember if it was before that. Uh, and it's been really easy. And the more I've gotten used to it, the faster I'm doing it on the digital planner versus the paper planner. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm a millennial and I like using tech. It's It's been faster and fun for me. Yeah. And I think it's worth saying, because I know we'll get questions, that this is in beta mode. Our certified pros are the only people who are getting access to yeah. test this and they're in testing. I've been seeing all their comments in the Facebook group, which is awesome and exciting. Um, and our hope, depending on how the beta test goes, is to release it later this year, hopefully Q2. But again, there's a lot to work out with it. So yeah. hold that loosely. No promises. Uh, and who knows if it's a total bust, we might just say we're not doing it. We're not it doing all. it. <laughs> so it's just in-house, right? Yeah. We're just teasing you guys. Yeah. But all right. Hopefully those are helpful for you. Let us know which one of these is the most uh, intriguing one that you are going to test out. Yeah. Right? And if you have any additional tips yeah. or hacks that you're using to use your technology to help you advance your goals, we would love to hear those. And you can share those in the Full Focus Planner community. You can go to fullfocusplanner.com slash Facebook and join us right there. Ken and I are both in there. Nick's in there. And you can tag us and say, hey, try out this app or this is something that I'm I'm doing or a hack that I'm doing. And uh, we would love to do future episodes about this and share your tips. So share this with us. I love it. Thanks for joining us on Focus on This. This is the most productive podcast on the internet. So please share it with your friends and be sure to join us in the Full Focus Planner community on Facebook so you can benefit from the creativity and encouragement of people chasing big goals just like you. We'll be here next week with another great episode. And until then, stay, stay focused. focused.